What's going on guys and welcome to Tharsis. For those of you that have not seen my previous video on this game or have not seen any gameplay yet, this is sort of a strategy management game where you control the crew of a spaceship trying to get to Mars uh, when disaster strikes and you basically have 10 weeks to get to Mars. That's pretty much all I know. Uh, that which comes down to about 10 turns. So every turn is about a week. Um, so without further ado, let's just jump into the game and I'll just sort of briefly go over some uh, gameplay elements as we go. You start out by choosing your crew members. Um, at the start of the game, you only have four options. You've got the doctor, the specialist, the mechanic, and a captain. Seeing as I've already played a little bit, I also have the technician. Um, so I will... No, actually, I'm just going to go with the default crew so that anybody watching this will get sort of sort of a similar experience to what you would get when you actually purchase the game uh, for the first time. Uh, and here you see some other characters that you can unlock, so you have to earn research, do repairs, beat the game, and eat human meals to unlock the other characters. For the uh, technician, I had to produce a certain amount of food, and when I did, I unlocked her. But anyway, let's jump into the game and uh, see what it's all about. Alright, a cluster of micrometeoroids have crippled the Ectomi and killed two crew. J-Cross was ejected into space and Mapia Musgrave suffered a fatal injury and, you know, died. <clears throat> so our goal is to survive. Now this is the ship and these are all our crew members. As you can see, they're all currently gathered, apparently in the greenhouse. I don't know why, but that's where they are. Um, but, you know, first of all, let's go over the interface briefly. Um, at the top left, we will see our, our ship health. When it reaches zero, you lose the game. And we can also see it's the impending damage. Uh, that means the damage you will take when you finish your turn without fixing all the damage to the ship. You know, that's how much damage you're going to get. Here you can see how many weeks it will take you to get to Mars. So for now, it's 10 weeks, uh, which, you know, every circle is one turn. Uh, here's your assist. At first, when I made my first video, I wasn't really sure what assist did or how it worked. So what it does, actually, is when you roll a die, which, you know, you'll see in the gameplay later, you have to roll dice to uh, get stuff done. Uh, when you get a negative effect because of a certain die roll, an assist will actually prevent that from happening. Uh, you can only have three at a time, and it's randomly selected uh, which of those dice, you know, will actually get the assist. Here's your food. You can use your food to restore dice to your crew members. Uh, these portraits are our crew members. And these little white blocks that you can see are the dice they have they can roll with. And, you know, one of these food will restore three of these to them. And they expend one die every turn uh, when they roll, when they first roll. Uh, there is, you know, more ways to get more dice. For example, the captain can use her ability to give dice to... Um, every every crew member in this module and if we click ship info we can actually see what every module does so for example in flight control you could prevent damage from moving around when there's damage to the ship the greenhouse can be used to harvest food uh over in maintenance we can repair the ship you know there's medical bay all that stuff so basically if you if there's something you need done and you have the luxury to actually or the time to go there you can go to a certain module and make use of it. Uh, so that's how that works. And then, you know, every crew member has a specific ability. The mechanic can repair the ship. The doctor obviously heals people. Ellison gets one extra reroll on her dice. And like I said earlier, the captain can restore dice to the crew. Uh, let's see. So this is the research. I will actually go into this later because it's kind of tough to explain without showing uh, the full thing. And these little things will show you where the the ship is damaged and what the effect of it is. So, for example, our uh, laboratory is damaged by a meteoroid strike, uh, which will lead to two damage to the ship when left unrepaired. If we roll a two or a three in this module, then uh, we're going to encounter an effect over in operations. I believe, yep, the operations. Uh, if we don't fix this damage, then everybody's going to lose one health. 
The ship will not be damaged, but we, our, all of our crew members will lose health. So it's it's not great. So let's go ahead and actually send the specialist over to operations and let's get to work on repairing the damage here. So as we can see, when we roll a five, we will get an injury, which means that Ellison will lose one of her health, which are shown to the right of her portrait. On the left side, we've got this little bar, which uh, signifies her stress, and we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, and here is the, uh, the option to work this module. So if we roll a five or higher, we can actually reduce the active crew member, which is Allison. We can reduce her stress by 60%. Um, but you know, let's let's just start by rolling the dice and seeing what happens. All right, so we've got a four, we've got a one. No effects are triggered because of that. Now we could just use these to repair the damage. We could also put, for example, this one into a research project. You can have up to six dice over here: one, two, three, four, five, six. All the different dice when you actually collect them, sort of. Uh, you can use certain effects. So, for example, I could reduce the stress for all the crew. I could repair the damage in this module. I could get extra dice. And I also have the option to shuffle all these effects, uh, which would expend one of these research points. So that is how research works. Um, I can also hold dice if I would like to. But uh, currently, that's not really necessary. So let's go ahead and re-roll because the one is not ideal. All right, we have another four, so let's just go ahead and use that to repair some more damage, leaving only three damage to this module. Next up, we definitely will want to fix up the uh, meteoroid strike damage. So we're sending over the mechanic, seeing as he has three dice over here. And if we roll two or a three, we will encounter stasis, which means that we cannot re-roll that dice anymore. Uh, I imagine we're probably going to get one of these, so let's see. Yep, here we go. So, because of the assist, this one is not under the, under the effect of stasis. This one is, however, and is now stuck at 30. So, what we could do is we could just put it in there. Or, what we could also do is put it into research, uh, which we will do. I'm going to use the 4 for repairs, and I'm going to re-roll this, uh, this 3. And we have another 3. That is not ideal. But, okay, at least we have one research point now. And that's it. That's the end of the mechanic's turn. That was not really the outcome that we had hoped for, but okay. So now we'll send over the captain there. She also has three dice. So she would be the most likely candidate uh, to be able to fix this. We got a six and a four. The two is just really unfortunate, but we put it in here and then use a six and a four to repair the ship. We can then use special tools, this little research project, to get seven repair, which will just effectively, you know, repair all the damage to that module. Uh, we only have three damage left here, so we know for a fact that the doctor can fix that, so we'll send her over here. And if she rolls a six or a five... Okay, that's not... Okay, let's hold the six and then roll the two again. Are you kidding me? Well, that is not good. So we're going to have to use the six to repair the damage. Seeing as we have no other options, the two just won't cut it. So we'll use the six, repair the damage, save this in research projects. And we're good. So that's basically the end of the first turn. Moods are turning sour. The crews and my own. But if I can't lead them, we're all dead. I need to get it together. Alright, so this is where stress actually comes into play. Choose a side project to perform, but be aware it may have negative consequences. The severity of the choices are influenced by the stress of the crew. So right now, we could just say, hey, let's give everybody, you know, um, one health, but they would lose one dice. But seeing as they only have one, it would basically have no negative effects. While this one would get us one food, which is really good, but lower these guys' health by one. Which is a, a only a small, you know, negative effect. So we can choose between restoring one health to everybody or getting a bit of food. I'm going with the food. It's probably the riskier of the choices, but having food, like I said, will restore three dice. And as such, can just make a really big difference every turn. Alright, so this is pretty small. We've got a damaged circuit 
in the uh, maintenance bay, which is only four damage. This should be very easy to fix. And we've got a VO2 leak in the flight control. So we'll send... Yes, we'll send Allison over there to fix this. It should be doable with four dies. All right, so we do have stasis. So just save that for now. We will use the five for repairs. And we're just going to roll again. That's not good. Roll again. Come on, at least... A, okay. So we have to use the three. We'll use the one to just save the... Uh, to get a research project here. Which is probably our best move. Alright, so let's move on. And let's send... Let's see. We will send the mechanic over to this area to fix this damage. Alright. Well, that's not good. Void is a new effect. We haven't seen this one yet. But it basically uh, means that the die disappears. So you don't get a reroll. It's basically a worse version of stasis where you don't even get to use the die anymore. It's just gone. Um, and he just suffered an injury as well. But at least the damage is fixed. Uh, that's very nice. So we'll send the... Let's see. Let's send the doctor over to this place and hope that we don't roll more than one two because that would be bad okay no we're okay so we will let's see we're gonna have to use these uh let's see i'm gonna hold this one i'm gonna re-roll hopefully for a four or five yes so we'll fix the damage but we have this one left um which is great so we can save this in research that's an option we could use it so that nobody suffers movement damage this turn, but there is none, so that doesn't help. Or we could restore one health to all the crew in this module, which is Allison and uh, Kayla herself. So, boom, there you go. Restored some health. Now, the captain has basically a free turn, and we can do whatever we would like with him. So, we could send him, for example, over to... Let's see, we've got a bunch of options. We can increase our assist. Uh, I guess the best course of action would be to use a module that would uh, be very useful. So we could regain the dice here, or we could try and harvest some food. Uh, either way, it's probably going to be tricky, but we're going to try and harvest some food. Let's just give that a go. We need two of the same dice. Do we save the two? Do we save the five? Let's save the five so that if we don't roll five right now, at least we'll have the research point. Let's roll. Oh, man. Okay, I was almost very lucky. So let's... Uh, yes, just save these in research. And there you go. So now we could just use this one to get three dice or... You know, we have a bunch of different options, but either way, it was worth it. We get no damage. Well, we probably don't have a chance, but that's okay. So now, let's see. Our options are to gain two health to the ship, but these two would lose a die. Uh, these guys could earn one extra health, which is quite good, but they would also gain stress. But the health would be quite good, and I would prefer that these guys do not lose a die. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one and heal them up. We have no food, sadly, so they're going to be stuck with only one die each. Not very ideal. Oh, God, there's a lot of damage. So now, basically, we have to make choices. This could be very tricky, but we have to make sure the ship does not get destroyed. So, mostly, I'd say we have to fix this leak. That is too damage to the ship. This one only causes the ship to, uh, or this, I guess, module to not be effective anymore. This one will cause damage to the ship, which would be very bad. It's also very dangerous to fix, by the way. Uh, seeing as, you know, if we roll one, we're going to get three damage. If we roll more than one... Uh, if we we'll roll more than a one, if we roll two ones, for example, then Allison is going to die instantly. So, fingers crossed that this doesn't happen. That is basically one of the best rolls that I could have imagined, so I'll take it. 
Just going with it. Thank you. Then we'll have the captain, who is already in this module. Uh, roll one die. Don't be a one, though. All right, and there you go. So we fixed the damage, and now we can be 100% certain that the um, damage to the ship will not be uh, lethal. Six. That is very good. So there we go. Now we'll send over the doctor here. She's got a good amount of health, so she should be okay. And we're going to roll, and we're going to fix the damage to the uh, the maintenance bay. And obviously, you know, we are going to be successful no matter what. So we'll just use the four, and then roll again. All right, we have a six. Uh, we have a two. So we can either just discard the two. Well, we're going to have to discard the two. There's nothing we can do with that. We can use this six to either complete our research, or we could heal both Pakal and the doctor, which is basically the best option we have right now. Um, so there you go. There's nothing I can do with the two. I could put it here, but that doesn't allow you to keep it around. I could put it there. That doesn't do anything. So we're done. But either way, at least we fixed the damage. I've checked our food stores, and it looks grim. We lost more than half our supplies with the module. If we don't find some creative solutions, we'll starve before we ever reach Mars. All right. Let's see. These interferences are getting pretty annoying. I keep losing work to the wrong equipment. I keep losing work to the wrong equipment and should get straightened out. All right. So we could say, hey, minus 30 stress for all the crew. Which is quite good, but we would also get a bit of damage to the ship. This one would give us one food, but it is going to lead to uh, two damage to the ship, which is bad. We're going to go ahead and actually choose this one and just lower stress for everybody. With the limited supplies aboard, it is unclear if we can maintain our strength for the long trip to Mars. There is another option. The body of Mapia is still in the medical bay and has been well preserved. What is more important, the mission or our humanity? So we now have the option of eating uh, basically the meat of our crew member who passed away. Uh, it will lower our maximum health by one, but it will give us uh, two dice, uh, which is actually a pretty good deal if you ask me. So I'm going to go ahead and just go with this. And uh, we're looking good. Our max health is slightly lower, but they were all injured, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. And everybody has a lot of extra dice now, which is good. All right, this might be manageable. We don't have anybody in flight control. So that's good. I'd say that we most likely will want to fix this damage to make sure the ship doesn't get damaged. And at the same time, we got to make sure that we fix this so that we don't lose the dice. So I'll send the specialist over here, first of all. See, that's not bad. Got a six. I'm going to reroll the two because that's just not going to cut it for me. Are you kidding me? It's another... Okay, we have an extra reroll, though. This is a specialist, after all. So there we go. Only five damage remaining, which is uh, quite good. Then we will use the captain. Yeah, let's use the captain to remick... Uh, to re what? what was I going to say? Fix the remaining damage. I, don't, I, I feel like I was going to say remain the fixing damage, but that doesn't really make sense. Uh, this is not good enough for me. Reroll. I don't really care about stasis. All right, so we're going to go ahead and boom, fix the damage. And we can use this six to either d decrease the stress by a whole bu uh, bunch. Or uh, return two dice to the captain and one to uh, Ellison. But I feel like her stress is quite high. Let's fix that. Let's just fix the stress. Normally, I would have gone with the... With the, uh, the can't do that. Normally, I would have gone with a dice, but I feel like stress is something that is actually quite important, so I would like to fix it. All right, let's fix this. No threes, though, please. That's terrible. We'll use the four, but let's, let's roll with the rest. Okay, that's not much better. That is not much better. All right, so it looks like the doctor is going to have to fix this. And if possible, also heal both herself and the mechanic. Not bad. That'll do. And then please be a five or a six. That'd be... What? No, it was going to roll over. Are you kidding me? It was going to roll over to a five. And it just reset. Okay. Well, either way, at least, you know, we fixed all the damage to the ship. Except, again, flight control. 
transmission arrived. Not from Earth, but from Mars. From Tharsis. An impossible signal from an impossible source. Is this what we're searching for? Who's transmitting this signal? Was there another mission to Mars? One set before ours? Or is the message coming from someone else? That sounds pretty spooky. Alright, so let's see. Look, this ship is in a bad way. We need to do something about it. I don't want to have to ask again. That would fix two damage to the ship, but take one die away from the doctor. Or we could say, hey, why aren't you listening to me? We need food and we need it now. But we would damage the ship in the process, which means that it's very likely to uh, get destroyed. So I'm going with fix the ship and uh, just have the doctor lose one die. You also, by the way, have the option of killing one of your crew members. For example, when their health is quite low and you feel like there's no way you're going to be able to recover them. You can just kill them. You've got three pieces of meat. Uh, which you can then, you know, feed to your crew members. But we don't want to do that right away. Alright, so maybe... Um, it wasn't really necessary... To, uh... Fix the ship, because there's only two damage. Maybe getting food would have been a better... Idea. So what I'll do is I'm going to grab Allison, who has a lot of rerolls. I'm going to have her get this one. Three extra dice. And, alright, 17 repair. This is, this is going to be good. I'm pretty sure that she will be able to fix the damage here, unless she rolls like five threes. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Again? Come on. But this time, it's a good thing. Alright, so for those of you that don't know, in the first video that I ever recorded for this game, a six would cause an injury, and I, I uh, had four health. I rolled four sixes. Someone actually told me that the uh, percentage of chance that this will happen is about what was it? Point oh oh seven seven percent chance that you roll four sixes. So that's pretty nuts. I mean, I would be an idiot not to just fix all this damage right away. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use the. Let's see, who should I use? Doctor or Captain? Alright, I'll send the Captain... No, I'll send the... Yeah, I'll send the Captain over there, just fix the remaining damage. Alright, that could have been worse. Um, Alright, so there you go, and then do that. We're good. Then I will have the... Let's see, I think I'll have the mechanic go to the maintenance bay. I, I mean, he's not going to roll two sixes, and if he does, it would actually be a bad thing because of the injury. But, uh, that, that could have been better. But alrighty then. Um, so let's go like that. I think? Yeah, let's do that. Then let's just use this repair. Just get rid of the damage. It might be a waste of... Okay, that's pretty good. So he can actually fix the ship with his remaining uh, turn. So that's pretty good. Then we'll have the doctor just go to flight control. She's got some spare time. She can work on fixing some of the damage here. It's not... That's not very good at all. Alright, use the four and then roll again. If it's a one or a two or something, I'm just gonna... Alright, another four. Pretty decent. Uh, so yeah, we can't use flight control operations, but I don't really tend to use this anyway, so it's not a very big, um, terrible thing. Suit. It's designed for the Ectomi. Nobody has them but us. So who are they? And where did they get them? All right. We are running low on supplies and should spend some extra time harvesting food, so we, uh, Ellison would lose one die, but we would gain one food. Or we could say, hey, let's uh, give everybody one extra die, but the ship would be damaged uh, somewhat. It's a risky one, definitely. But this would give us four dice and do two damage. This would give us two dice. So we're basically trading two dice for two damage to the ship, which honestly I think might be worth it. Let's give everybody... Some dice. Let's just do it. This way, everybody has a better chance of fixing some of the uh, 
damage to the ship. All right, this one seems terrible because it's 31 damage, but it will only cost us one food, and we don't have any food. So it's just not the worst thing in the world. So what I'll do is I'll send the specialist over to the... Uh, let's see, we mostly want to fix these. All right, so let's just start with the mechanic. Try and fix this. Don't roll two ones, though. Okay. Well, we had an assist, thank God, so... It's not as bad as it could have been. Another four. That leaves seven damage to repair. Meaning that the captain would be the best person to do this. Or the doctor. Uh, but I'll use the captain. Just in case. I just feel like using the captain here. Let's not... Okay. No more ones, please. Okay, thank God. At least it's enough to fix the damage. Meaning the ship will not be destroyed this turn. No matter how much we mess up. Uh, which is good. Now let's send the specialist over to the laboratory. And let's fix this damage. Or at least, you know, try to. Alright, we got some stasis here. Seeing as a two... No, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this actually just this once because nine is easier to roll with two dice than eleven. Doctor's gonna lose quite some health, but we have to do this. Yes. Alright, all the damage to the ship has been prevented, meaning that we lose one food, which we don't have, and we can use flight control, which we don't want to. Alright, so there is some type of mystery on Mars, which is not really sure what it is. Um, Alright, so for this one, we could say, hey, let's lose 30% stress for the mechanic and for the captain. Or we could say, have Allison lose one die, but we gain one food. I do feel like losing stress is quite important, though, for the mechanic. But if we don't have the food, then we can't really effectively do anything this turn. Uh, considering... Unless we kill somebody. I think we might have to kill the captain. And that would ensure that we are at least going to be able to get closer to Mars. Let's do it. Let's kill the captain. Let's just do it. Um, so let's go ahead and just heal up the... I want to say doctor here. Sorry, captain. You're going to have to die for your crew. <laughs> So sorry. All right, so eat the meat, which apparently does cause a bit of stress. Yep, okay, that's... See, I kept eating a lot of human meat in my last game, and I was wondering why my people were so stressed out, but now I get it. All right, so we have some cannibalism food remaining. All right, so either we fix some of this damage or the ship will not make it, so we will go over to the... Uh, let's see, let's... No, let's start by fixing... Uh, do we want to... Yeah, okay, let's let's just do this. We'll fix this damage, which we we're, we're going to be able to do. Uh, no matter how unlucky I get. And then, let's see. Alright, we got a six, we got a one, so we can actually heal these people. Save the one over there. And then we will send the specialist, first of all, over here. We basically really want to fix this damage. It is not at the utmost importance, like it's okay if we don't do it. Although, it is going to get trickier, but... Oh, boy. Alright. So, we got some stasis. We got some damage. It's not ideal. Alright, please just give me a six or something. Thank you. That's so nice of you. And then we will send over the mechanic as well. He still has four dice, so he should be able to do this unless he rolls three ones or something. But he's okay. He's got this. So, fix the damage. Three's remaining, but, you know, stasis and all. We can't reroll. So let's just save that for now. And there you go. It is kind of a bummer that we only have three turns right now because the, uh... The captain somehow mysteriously died. Those people... Are they us? What's happening to them? Are we seeing ourselves? <laughs> oh, that's insane. What's happening to us? All right, I've actually never seen this one before. Uh, let's focus on getting our food stabilized. Let's put some energy into that. 
work, 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 and you work time for more work. Okay. So he could lose one of the ship, but reduce his stress somewhat. He, has, he does have the high stress. Or he could get one extra food. We don't need this food right now. I'm going to reduce his stress somewhat. Although the ship is, you know, going to take some damage, but... We're going to have to live with this. Uh, everybody's going to lose one health. We might want to fix that. This one, don't really care about. So we most definitely want to fix the this damage, or the, the ship will go down. And we should be able to fix this, I think, quite easily. Okay, what? Are you kidding me? Uh, so we'll use the four, use the one. Reroll. As long as it's anything over three, we're good. Come on. No. You've got to be kidding me. All right, so we're just going to finish this up. Um, yeah, let's just use the doctor to finish that up. Hopefully she can heal a bit and maybe reduce some stress as well. Yep, that is exactly what we are able to do. So let's heal both of these people in here. And let's reduce her stress. And that's good. So all damage to the ship is prevented. But this one is still quite dangerous because it can um, lower everybody's health. It, it might lead to somebody's death. Are you kidding me? The game stopped working? No. All right, guys. Uh, the game just crashed. That was terrible. Uh, now we're back where we were so at least we get another shot at fixing this so if the mechanic could fix this in one turn that would actually put us in a better position would you look at that all right so let's re-roll same all right so we're just gonna save this over here which isn't bad all right so now we are in a better position we're gonna go ahead and use the uh specialist to go over here i don't know what happened the game just suddenly crashed. That hasn't happened to me before. Six, the four, uh, the three is terrible, and so we're going to have to use it. Please, though, please be a five or higher. That's not ideal. I'm just going to go ahead and save this one. Actually, no, this is better. Boom. Still worked. We got it. Good for us. All right, so let's have the doctor go over to the... To where... I'm not really sure where she should go. Oh, boy. Uh, you know what? Let's send her over here. Maybe she can fix the damage to the ship. If we can fix the module, then she might also be able to... Uh... Oh, are you kidding me? Still good, though. We fixed the damage. So we did better than we did last time. And nobody dies, which is one of the best things. All right, so we are really close to beating the game. We got two more turns to survive, I think. Um, all right, it's going to take a ton of work, but we can squeeze more food out of this beast. Why would I get one food? Uh, I would give away, like, three dice, and I would gain three. So that doesn't actually benefit us at all. We could get him an extra die, but the ship would get damaged. I'm afraid this is the only choice we have. We got to do it. All right, so with the cannibalism food, we'll give that to the doctor. Let's keep going. Oh, this could be very, very bad. Uh, we've got a lot of damage. This one's bad. Uh, but we need to fix the damage that will actually destroy the ship, first of all. So we'll send, let's say, the specialist over here. All right, we got to fix this. Only 10 damage, so she should be able... Yeah, here we go. It's fixed. It's good. All right. So one. So let's just save that uh, in here. All right. And then we've got this one. This one really, really needs to be fixed. That one I could sort of live with if we don't make it. But we got to fix this one. Because otherwise the ship will just be destroyed. We have to fix it. Please don't kill me though, game. That's pretty bad. All right, we only need six more. There is a re legitimate chance that the the captain will die, but or the the doctor will die. 
She's very close to being dead. That is not good. I don't think there's any way for me to get more out of this too. I'll just save it in there for now. We have to use the mechanic to fix this. We're going to have to take the minus health. This is going to be terrible. We're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. So, 5-4. We're going to go like that. Then we will save you in there. We'll re-roll. Alright, that doesn't help me at all. Uh, we're going to see if there's anything that will heal people, maybe. We've got 17 repair. Alright. Nothing we can do. We're going to lose two people. We're going to be stuck with just the specialist. And then... Oh god, we're so close. Yeah, there's only one person remaining. I mean... Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, alright. I'll never figure out what the hell's going on if I die on this damn ship. I really need to conserve food now that I'm on my own. That makes no sense. It would kill her. We could say, hey, give her, uh, two dice. We gotta just pick that one. Alright, you know what? Let's feed her one piece of meat. Scare two, a nice five dice. If there's more than two events... Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crew and flight control will depart to Mars. The ship must survive the turn. We can't do that. All right, so we need to um, both be in flight control. We only have one option, which would be to restore at least two health to the ship. Then she could go to flight control. We'd be good. No. We're not going to make it. Nope. That's it. That's all of our options are just gone. Let's just try and fix this damage. If we do it, at least the ship will survive. I'm not really sure what else will happen. Alright, so five and a four. Uh, let's see. Let's just use the three, use the one, save this one. Alright, let's just fix up our health to the as high as we can. Well, let's see what happens now. There were times I thought we'd never make it. We made it though. Times I doubted it would even be here if we did. But there it is at last. Mars. It's time to learn the truth. Yeah, there's nobody in there. Maybe a dead body, but there's nobody in there. We're not finding out anything. Oh, well, okay. I mean, there was nobody in there, so it doesn't matter. You know, I don't... It doesn't matter. All right, look at that. Mission failure. Termination cost missed destination. We survived for 10 turns. We completed 40 events. Uh, we have two health remaining, four dice, one ship hull, three deck crew. We got... We ate seven human meals. There were three events remaining, and we had a lot of stress. Um, but I guess we sort of beat the game, but not really. Let's see, I didn't... Alright, so I didn't get the pilot because I didn't beat the game. Uh, but we're getting pretty close to unlocking the commander, and the... Well, the psychologist is still quite far away. But anyway, guys, that is the end of this run. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll probably do at least one more, because I actually quite enjoy this game. It's... Uh, it's nice. It's it's just fun strategic management with a, a good portion of luck in there. It's it's right up my alley. So I'll I'll do at least one more run. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please let me know. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. If you still are, and I'll talk to you later.